there was somebody basically like this is this is a slight detour but uh story time from when i worked at best buy there was a girl who we worked with she worked in customer service and geek squad and places like that and um when at the time at least i don't know how it works now but at the time basically when you were to return a product you would take the product back so say like an apple watch comes in um, and somebody returns it without the box. They're like, I just don't have the box, but I want to return it. So we would accept the return. And then it would go into a metal cage uh, that I think they called the PR, a PRC, I think is what they called it. But it was like a product return cage or whatever it was. Um, so it would get locked in that metal cage. So in theory, everything that's returned goes in that cage. The whole cage gets moved into the warehouse. And then the warehouse processes all of the returns to be shipped off to a big distribution center where the returns are sent off to the various places they need to go in order to be repackaged, refurbished, whatever. We had in that store tons of stuff, thousands and thousands of dollars of Apple products go missing out of the PRC cage. It's very weird. Uh, and we all knew that there were only like three people who had the keys for the PRC cage, like the GM and a couple of the leads uh, around customer service. So like everybody kind of knew who it probably was. And they started investigating it. They had security camera footage and they figured out that it was this one girl who worked in customer service and they could see her going into the cage, opening it and then like sliding something up her sleeve very discreetly, you know, so she like grab it and then like kind of slide it in, look like she's scratching her arm and then walk away with, like the Apple watch in her, her sleeve. And so like they saw all of this, but they let her do it for a solid, like three weeks. Everyone in the store knew that she was stealing. Everybody in the store knew that she was breaking into the PRC cage and taking Apple products. Everybody knew it, but they were just collecting like dozens of video clips of her doing it. Um, so that when they eventually got the police involved, which they eventually did, the police officer came in and escorted her out and everything. It was like this, this whole thing. Um, the charges would definitely stick. And I don't know whatever happened to her, but I, I know that she didn't work there after that. But she did it for a long time. But honestly, I think the only reason she got caught was because she was stealing Apple products. And Apple does not screw around when it comes to stealing their products. They do not mess around. Uh, like if you... T, uh, TCL also doesn't mess around. Samsung doesn't mess around. Um, honestly, like if you were to steal like a Lenovo or Toshiba laptop, I don't think any, I like Toshiba wouldn't care. They'd be like, oh, thankfully somebody took it. <laughs> like, <laughs> they'd be like, oh God, thank you. We don't have to deal with that. But Apple, you do not steal from Apple. Like Apple will come and slap you upside the head and then shove a fist down your throat like apple you do not nobody wins against apple